Hey, hey, it's Dana the Gypsy Psychic. Are y'all ready for another message? Come on in, get comfortable, put your feet up, get your blanket, get your pillow, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to, put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. If you're new to the channel, it's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as I clarify it and sew together a story. Okay, now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. Hey Taurus, it's Dana. Happy birthday! Woohoo! Happy birthday to you! Yay! Yay! So, let's throw down some cards. Let's see what they have to say for Taurus. Let's see what's up with the Bull Tribe. Come on in, y'all. I apologize for my audio right off the get-go because my cat got pissed off at me because I wouldn't let him sleep on my head. Got up and he walked over here and he chewed my microphone cord right in half as he looked me in the face. Looked me straight in the eyes and chewed my cord in half with one vicious bite. I can't believe it. So anyway... I apologize. I apologize for my sound. So let's throw down for Taurus. Let's see what's going on. Give me a minute to channel and we'll see what the message is. Spirit, source, universal energy. What does the collective of Taurus need to know? What's coming towards them? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good? Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. Please tell me where the stopping point is for Taurus. I will cut three times and I will pull straight from the top. Spirit, what is it right there that Taurus needs to know and understand? All right, let's see. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Boom. Ooh, bottom of the deck, the fool, new beginnings. This is a, uh, it's a tarot card deck, but it's just set up a little bit differently than the regular old tarot, and they're all supposed to be meant, they're all meant to be read in the upright. So the root cards will be in the upright, and the clarifying cards will be whichever way they need to. So we got the Fool and the Emperor and Spiritual Strength and Accelerated Motion on the bottom of the deck. All right, let's see what this is all about. So the Fool, the Emperor, the Nine of Wands, Spiritual Strength and Accelerated Motion. All right, we'll come back to those. Normally, I do uh, three rows of five, but today I am going to do um, three rows of four because these cards are huge. Okay, so moving on with the six of swords, moving on from some kind of a mindset woo -wee, to the sun because you see something clearly, perhaps. Foundations and achievements with the four of wands and the lovers with harmony. Fantastic. Let's move these where you can see them. It's so hard all the time. All right, moving on. The sun, foundation, achievements, harmony, obstacles, and challenges with the five of wands, the empress, boom. Conflict, mental conflict with the two of swords, and temptation with the devil. Stand your ground with the seven of wands, Memories of love with the Six of Cups. Financial and material changes with the Five of Pentacles. And hope with the Star. Fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic. What do we got coming up next? We got conflict. Where can you guys see best? We got conflict and defeat. We have rejoice and celebration. We have triumphant success. Patience with temperance and truth with judgment. Fantastic. And then we just kind of start repeating the whole thing here. Let's see. Yeah, it just kind of goes on and on and on and says pretty much the same thing. All right, you guys, let's see what we got going on over here. All right. So boom, ba -da boom, 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 boom. 
we're going to clarify with the old, good old fashioned classic Rider weight. We're going to clarify with these guys right here. What is moving on about? Moving on from what? 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 King of Cups and a personal transformation. Okay. Knight of Swords in the way that you think about things. Ooh, Page of Wands. Interesting. Some kind of communication. What is the sun about? What is the sun about? What is the sun about? Seeing something clearly? The path to happiness, success, vitality. What is the sun? Oh, the Knight of Cups. Wow. The Knight of Cups. What's this about? Foundations, achievements, the sun, the path to happiness, success, vitality, foundations, and achievements. Okay. To the Six of Cups. What are these foundations and achievements? What is this about right here? What is the foundations and achievements about? What is the foundation and achievements about? What is that about? Foundations and achievements. Some kind of commitment. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And we have harmony with the lovers. Okay. Tell me about uh, this lovers here. What's all this about? Is this love? Is this relationships? Is this marriage? What is this about in harmony? What is this? All right, kids, this is what's going on, okay? This is what's, this is what's going to shake down here. I want to preface all of this by saying that I have a propensity to be inappropriate. I probably will swear, and I smoke my vape. So if you don't like any of that, the neighborhood's too rough, you need to go on down the road, okay? All right, this is what's going on. So moving on with the Six of Swords, right? That's the root card. Moving on to the sun. Um, because you have seen something crystal, crystal clear, the Knight of Cups. Because you have done your internal work that you need to do, the sun again. You are being shown the path to happiness, success, and vitality. Taurus, there is a, 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 a huge, gigantic amount of awesomeness that's about to take place in your life. Okay, so buckle up. Buckle up, okay? But you have to make the decision to move on from something, okay? Why do you have to move on from something? What have you seen clearly? What is this transformation that Taurus has undergone here, okay? What is it? Well, moving on, okay? In your mind, swords energy, air energy, your mind. You need to make a decision to move on from some kind of mindset. Queen of Cups, because you're not the same person that you were before. You have emotionally grown. You have done the work of the Knight of Cups to pull it all together, bring it all heart center. You um, know yourself. You have grown, and you're not the same person that you used to be. Death in reverse. You have undergone a personal transformation, and you're also about to enter into a transformation. Okay, you're about to enter into a transformation because you've gone through a transformation. Okay, Knight of Swords. Because you see clearly the mind, Knight of Swords, right? Because you see clearly the way for yourself, um, that is the transformation of this death card in reverse right here. You have seen the way, you have seen your truth, the, 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 you, you, you have seen clearly how it is that you need to grow and learn and mature, and you have, okay? You have wrapped your mind around a concept, and you are executing it in your life. What's the problem? Well, the Knight of Swords also denotes you are going to receive some communication from someone 
to the Page of Wands. Someone who wants to spark something up, buzzkill again. Okay? Okay? So you're all good, Taurus, right? You are so grown and mature in your emotions. You know who you are. You know why you are. You have dealt with everything that you need to dealt with, deal with. And you are doing so well, so well, that the path to happiness, success, and vitality is being laid before you. What is it about? Well, foundations and achievements, okay? This is the four of wands. This is stability. This is safety. You have created in your life the environment by which to grow the Hierophant. Commitment. Your spiritual growth as the Hierophant, it is the card of Taurus, okay? Your spiritual growth has created in your life the foundation by which and only which harmony. Harmony with another in a important relationship can be had. Because before you had this transformation, okay, before you had this transformation, you couldn't be a viable partner in a divinely orchestrated, look at all these major arcana, all of them, you couldn't be a viable participant in a divinely orchestrated, meaningful relationship in your life, whether it's love or anything else, until you grew into who you are today with the transformation of death and reverse who you have grown into, who you have transformed into today is someone who has grown spiritually, you're wiser, you're stronger, and now and only now can the seeds be grown to create a harmonious, long-term successful relationship. And it is about to enter into your life. The relationship that you deserve, the relationship that you want to have is becoming available to you because you have done your internal work and put yourself on the course of happiness, success, and vitality. And it's about to happen in your life. What's the problem? Well, you're about to get communication from someone from your past. You are. Past isn't up here yet, but I know from reading this whole reading a second ago that it, it's from the past, okay? 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 All right? Um, the obstacles and challenges of your past. What have you overcome here as the Queen of Cups and Death and Reverse? What have you overcome? What have you overcome? Well, these obstacles and challenges right here, what is it? Well, Queen of Pentacles, you are now standing in your power. You are now secure enough and strong enough to be able to participate in a viable, meaningful relationship in your life. Um, you are finished with a lack mentality. You are finished with um, compromising your values, your integrity, your self-worth in exchange for anything at all ever. You are grounded in your sense of satisfaction with who you are and where it is you have came from. You are in a really good and stable place, Taurus. Queen of Wands in reverse to the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is options, choices. Um, options, choices. The Queen of Wands in reverse is dissatisfied, a lack of confidence. The Seven of Cups is confusion. What's the, what was the confusion about? Well, your self-worth. That was the confusion with the Queen of Wands in reverse, your self-worth, right? What is the obstacle and challenge that you have overcome 
in the maturity of the Queen of Cups, in the massive internal transformation of death in reverse, what are the obstacles and challenges you have overcome? Your lack of self-worth. Boom. Queen of Pentacles comes on top of it and says, now, now you have the capacity to function in the desires of your heart. Because you have worked on yourself, your free will was pointed in the direction of your spiritual path. And because of that, your spiritual path is going to fulfill the desires of your heart and put you in a position of your best and highest good. And it's all fallen together like Legos, Taurus, like Legos. The Empress, how'd you get here? How'd you do all this? Well, apparently, <laughs> apparently you're a badass because the Empress is lesson three of the major arcana. Three is about achievement and growth, okay? How'd you get here? Well, lesson one is the magician. What you think about comes about, period. Whether you like it or not, whether it's in your best interest or not, what you think about comes about. And you understood that. So you began to change the way that you thought about yourself from the inside out. You came to terms with the fact that you weren't everything that everybody has ever labeled on you, that you had your own sense of identity and your own sense of self-importance. You didn't have to depend on anybody else to make you feel important anymore. And you owned that. And you began to think about yourself in the positive instead of the negative. And in your life, positive manifestation began to occur, occur instead of negative manifestation. That's the first thing you did. Second thing is the high priestess. Second lesson, high priestess. You followed your intuition. You listened to yourself. You listened to the direction that your soul was trying to communicate to your consciousness. And you managed somehow to combine the two of those together. And if you haven't yet, this is the next step. You will find a way to combine the two of those together to where from now on, you will only want to manifest in the direction that your intuition is leading you. That's how you became the Empress. You came from lesson one and two. You changed the way that you thought about things and it changed your life or it's about to. Your life is sure as hell is about to change in just a minute, for sure. You manifested. You trusted your intuition. You knew it was going to lead you to the right place. And boom, here you are as the Empress, ready to join forces with your Emperor in a harmonious, divinely orchestrated relationship because of your spiritual growth, because of your spiritual wisdom, the commitment that you truly want with a partner in life foundations and achievements is about to come to fruition the sun the path to happiness success and vitality the knight of cups sharing your your hard one healed feelings with another the sun again seeing very very clearly the personal transformation that brought you to the point that you're at now with the empress to the emperor might i add boom Ten of Cups, the desires of your heart are going to be fulfilled tenfold, tenfold to what they were with whatever punk is going to hit you up here in just a minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. King of Swords, you owned your truth. You made responsible decisions for your life. You drew a line in the sand and you decided to create your own reality. Instead of life kicking your ass, you decided you were going to kick life's ass. And as the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress and the Queen of Cups, you did. And this beautiful future is about to unfold before you. What's the problem? Well, there's temptation coming at you with this devil right here. There is. What's the temptation? It is this message right here. Why is this message way up here? Well, because the first card out said move on from maybe communication with air energy, but move on from a thought pattern that you hold on that you're holding on to, moving on from this and stepping into all of this. It's almost like it's one last obstacle that the old El Diablo wants to throw in front of you to keep you from stepping into this 
whew, awesomeness of a future and a huge, gigantic step into your enlightenment and your awakening. So there's going to be temptation, mental conflict with the two of swords, crossroads, right? You only have two choices in a two. You either stay the same or you change. Those are your only two choices. What do they not want you to stay the same about is this six of swords, this thought that you need to leave behind you. They want you to see that you're at a crossroads. Why? Because temptation is coming your way. Temptation that is going to use your own subconscious blockages to keep you stagnated and away from this. Okay? Okay. Doesn't have to be a lover from the past. Okay. It can be uh, things are going great for you and your loser fucking brother shows up. And he's like, hey, man, can I stay with you for a little bit? I promise. I promise I'll clean up after myself. Can I stay with you for a little bit? Right? And it just throws a whole monkey wrench in all of everything in, in, in your life because you've worked really hard to create peace. It could be. <laughs> it could be um, anything, man. It could be anything. So don't just pin it on someone from your past coming back love-wise in tempting you. It could be anything, okay? So something is coming back from your past to tempt you, okay? Ten of Swords in reverse. Uh, this temptation wants some kind of renewal and regeneration with you. The Nine of Swords in reverse. It was a very painful lesson in your past. Three of Cups in reverse. I bet you got either cheated on or told somehow that you weren't good enough. Um, three cups in reverse is third party intervention. And usually when there is some kind of infidelity or there is some kind of betrayal or deception or too many cooks in the kitchen or husband doesn't like this husband and wife doesn't like that wife kind of stuff. Um, it is, um, a creative block, right? And, and so it was a painful lesson from the past. The four of cups. Uh, contemplation and reevaluation is what you're going to be faced with when you get this message from your past. Because you're, what the track that you're on now is the track that you need to be on. And it is beautiful. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. Whether you already have plans with this person or you haven't even met this person yet. Whatever this is going on right here with this emperor and the empress and the hierophant and the sun, the double sun. Whatever this is, the lovers... Whatever this is, it's beautiful, okay? But there's a problem because there's some kind of temptation. The Four of Cups. The Four of Cups talks about contemplation and reevaluation. Why? Well, you're focusing on the Three Cups. The Three Cups is, I got this. I got this. I can do this. I can handle this. But they're like, no, here's the Fourth Cup. And this Fourth Cup is going to bring the information that you need to make some kind of stable emotional decision in your life. Take into consideration what we're saying. What they're going to say is right down here in just a second, okay? Take this information to the world card and close this cycle out of your life once and for all. Step out of the old cycle and into the new beautiful cycle of your life. Don't let whatever bullshit that you have that keeps you attached to something in your past Keep you from owning the life that you have created and deserve because you have created it. The world. Close it out. There's a brand new cycle waiting for you. What's going on? Well, stand your ground with the seven of, of wands. Stand your ground against what? Well, strength in reverse. You're about to be, you're about to come up on some kind of demon that you haven't quite conquered yet. Honestly, strength in reverse is weakness to the five of swords. Five of Swords is some kind of win-at-all-cost mentality. So weakness, your mentality, Five of Swords, first card out was the Six of Swords, move on from this mentality. What is this ment mentality? Well, the, five, the, five, the Three of Swords in reverse. Forgiveness, understanding, acceptance. This person needs some kind of forgiveness from you. And that is the crossroads, the forgive and forget. That's the temptation because there was something that this person offered you in the past that for some reason you still kind of hooked on a little bit. 
and they're going to come back again and offer it again to you. And they're going to screw up this beautiful future that you have. Okay. Strength in reverse. This is your weakness. It's, it's, it's the same thing that was before. Okay. Let go of a mentality that there can be forgiveness and forgetness. Forgetness? <laughs> that there can be a forgive and forget kind of thing. Judgment in reverse. Major Arcana says this is a bad decision. It's a bad decision. Six of Cups to go back to your past. Bad decision. So whatever this is for you, um, you, 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 it is not in your best and highest good. The five of pentacles. It left you out in the cold once before. It will leave you out in the cold again. The four of pentacles in reverse. Protect yourself. Two of cups in reverse. This is an unviable relationship. The four of swords in reverse. A lack of success. A lack of reward. To the eight of pentacles in reverse. Broken. Can't be fixed. Unmet expectations. You not learning your lessons and putting it to bed with this world card. To the hangman in reverse, major arcana, resist this, resist it. It's resistance. This person is refusing to learn, and it's the, it, the resist. This is is a double edged sword, right? This person is resisting to learn. You resisting to accept or learn that you're going to get the same old, same old from this person that's coming back from your past, and you're going to sacrifice an absolutely spectacular future for it. Come on, Taurus. For real, though, resist doing this. To the Ace of Swords, see the absolute truth of the situation. Some absolute clarity about the situation. Five of, of uh, Swords, conflict and defeat. It's the same Five of Swords that was just right back here, right? Wherever that was over here. It's the same Five of Swords. It's that mentality that you're holding on to that there can be forgiveness and, 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 and compassion in the situation. There can't be. Your person has not changed at all. And you will be repeating the same freaking lesson again. And you will be forfeiting this beautiful future. I am telling you, Taurus, this is so beautiful. Whether it is happening to you now, whether it will happen to you in the future, and I would say not the too far future at all. It's beautiful. Go for this. Don't mess with this little bitch who's texting you up here. It's, it's defeat. The star. Hope. Faith. Purpose. Hope. Hold on to hope that you can do better than this. Go back and tap into your badass empress energy and say, I don't want this because it doesn't look like what I want my future to look like. Don't bring this person into your life, whether it's a kid, whether it's a brother, whether it's a sister, a family member, a mother, a father, a lover, a friend, a neighbor, whatever this is, do not let it into your life because it's going to interfere with what's happening right here. Okay. Hope with the star card. Have hope that there is purpose in your faith because there is the three of cups. You will be in the right place at the right time. Your path will be divinely orchestrated to this emperor right here. It will. Because you've asked for it. You've manifested it. You've dealt with your flesh issues. And I think that's maybe what this is down here is a flesh issue. You've dealt with your, your ego, your self-centered, egocentric, human understanding kind of ways. And you're opening your mind and your heart and your soul to a bigger, broader understanding of what this whole thing is about. And you're growing and you're headed for a great, great deal of success. Don't let whatever this is from your past keep you from that. Okay? Triumphant success. We have the Ace of Swords right here. We have the Ace of Swords right here. See the truth of a situation. 14. This is temperance. Temper yourself. See the edge that you're walking on right here. And temper yourself. Temper yourself. Temper yourself. 
judgment, truth. Draw a line in the sand. Own this truth and continue your transformation into a bigger and better spiritual being. Keep going. Don't look back. Sodom and Gomorrah, right? The salt. Don't look back. Don't look back. Don't look back. Six of Swords. Don't look back, right? Keep going. It ends, started, started with the Six of Swords and it ends with the Six of Swords. Keep going. Don't stop and hang out here. Just keep going to the Two of Wands. Your future depends on it. Your future absolutely depends on it. And you must, you must, you must keep going, Taurus. Keep going. It's such a beautiful future that you have right here. Spirit, tell me about, um, tell me what it is that you want Taurus to take home. What is it that you want Taurus to take home? Boom. New beginnings and patience. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Maybe you are impatient, Taurus, that this new relationship that is coming to you, it is, but you can't see it. You don't see it. You, you, you just don't see how it could. It's just not even on your radar right now. Uh-huh. Yep. For a lot of you, it's just not even on your radar. And when this other person comes along, you're going to be impatient because you're waiting for a beautiful love and you're, this person comes back around and you're like, oh yeah, maybe it's him. Maybe it was meant to be after all. Maybe we are soulmates. No, 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 no. No, you're not soulmates. You were a karmic thing, if that. If most definitely you were a, a human driven decision with one another, for sure. No spirituality going on right there. Let's read Patience and New Beginnings. Let's read this. I want to point out it's a one and a two, by the way. All right. But two came out first. Patience came out first. Patience. All right. Patience. This card indicates a time to stop and enjoy the present moment as nothing more can be done to achieve the outcome you desire. Rather than take an action, you are being asked to evaluate your progress and clarify your dreams, which will help you manifest them sooner. Sooner. Oops, what I say, right? This card also indicates a need to take your time and pace yourself instead of making hasty plans and decisions. Failure to do so could result in stress and disappointment. This is an opportunity to focus all your energy and attention on visualizing your dreams as opposed to pushing against the obstacles standing in your way. Surrender the outcome to the universe and get on with living your life. Allow things to come to fruition in divine order and timing. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that are, enc that are encouraging you to be patient and still. Stillness is the key to receiving clear and accurate guidance, and patience will help you attract the outcome that you desire. I patiently trust and surrender the outcome to the divine. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. That's what this whole reading was about. All of the details in between that we went through, but the whole thing was patience, right? This is coming towards you, Taurus. There's so many major arcana here. It's coming towards you. And then this is going to show up, and you're going to be taken off track. Uh-huh. Because you're impatient. New beginnings, number one. Let's see what that says. New beginnings. I got to put it under the light here. Half blind without any glasses on. Okay. This card indicates a time of new beginnings where there will be plenty of opportunities to create a fresh start. These opportunities play a very important part in catapulting you to where you need to be. So it's in your best interest to follow them wherever they may lead. By drawing this card, you're being encouraged to find the inner strength and courage to Step into the unknown to feel the fear and do it anyway and create a brand new life. New opportunities may present themselves in the area of relationships, home, or career. There might be a chance to move, study, or travel or embark upon an exciting new endeavor. Regardless, you must pay attention to the signs and seize the moment when it arises. When you're open to new, beginning, new beginnings, the universe will send you the next logical step. 
So be optimistic and ambitious and move with changing tides. Embrace the mystery and the unknown and you will make all of your dreams come true. Affirmation is, I embrace new beginnings and make my dreams come true. Taurus, look at that. You got a totally new beginning coming smack at you. Be patient. Do not engage in the past. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep being the empress. Keep following where it is that your soul is leading you because that is the most important thing that you can possibly do in the big, hold wide world of everything is grow your soul. Come to terms with the desires of the flesh and see that there is a bigger and better way to go about doing things. Grow your soul, Taurus. That's your mission. Hope this helped someone. Namaste. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. I was just picking up all these cards. I forgot the bottom of the deck, right? What's the bottom of the deck? Well, the fool. Brand new beginnings, brand new journeys, a leveling up of your spirituality, brand new beginnings, brand new journeys because of a leveling up of your spirituality. Boom. You know what this causes? This this emperor is not the same emperor that it was telling you is headed toward to be the emperor to your empress. This emperor represents you. What does it mean? It means that, see, the emperor comes behind the empress, right? He creates in the physical what she has created in the internal. And what the emperor is signifying here is that your new beginning and your new journey is directly associated with your ability to apply your spirituality to the principles of your life. Spiritual strength with the nine of wands. Boom. There you go. Applying the principles of your spirituality to your life. Accelerated motion. Hold on, Taurus. You about to bounce. You about to bounce. You about to bounce. Hold on, Taurus. It's coming. It's about to absolutely explode in your life. Namaste.